Hey, it's Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot. I'm gonna unbox, review, and part test the Nextlight Core LED Grow Light, the newest commercial grade fixture from Nextlight, which can also be used for home grows. The Nextlight Core emits a full spectrum white light designed for a full cycle grow. This unit replaced the Nextlight Mini. It is a larger, more powerful upgrade, and it covers a bigger footprint than the Mini. Let's check out the core now. As always, all Nextlight products come discreetly shipped. And taking this out of the box, we see the sturdy foam inserts on both sides of the light. And just a few pieces of paper here. Just like a thank you from Nextlight with some specs on the light. And just a little note in here regarding if you received a damaged product or a product that is not working out of the box. The core is only 20.9 by 22 by 2.5 inches and it weighs 9 pounds. The fixture has a large form factor which helps spread the light evenly across the footprint. There are no cooling fans, this unit is passively cooled via the aluminum casing, and there are no moving parts which helps extend the lifetime of the unit. The 120 to 277 volt auto sensing driver is encased in the center of the fixture. The core comes with a connected 120 volt cord and a NEMA 515 plug and comes in the box ready to plug and play. The Nextlight commercial series is designed and manufactured in the United States. All Nextlight products come with a 5 year manufacturer's warranty. Nextlight excels in quick turnaround times for any warranty requests. The entire commercial series is UL listed for damp and dry locations. The lights are DLC premium listed and qualify for energy rebates with most energy providers. Nextlight uses highly efficient 3000K and 5000K Samsung LM561 B Plus diodes which are rated for 100,000 hours at 77 degrees ambient temperature. That's about 22 years on a 12-12 flower cycle and 15 years on an 18-6 veg cycle. Higher temperatures will decrease the lifespan. There are no secondary lenses on this unit, so without these you get increased efficiency and a larger light spread. The core comes in at 1.92 ppf per watt, which is considered quite efficient. While it's not over 2.0 micromoles per joule, and not the most efficient light on the market, it still puts out a lot of light considering its low wattage draw. The light output of the core clocks in at 380 micromoles per second. This is not a huge amount of light, but it's a good amount given the size and coverage area of the fixture. The fixture does not have a dimmer installed, but one may be installed after purchasing. You may want to check in with Nextlight regarding opening your fixture after purchase to ensure you do not void the warranty. The UL certified Nextlight core only draws 190 watts at the wall and will replace up to a 400 watt HID system. It is perfect for small spaces where heat or venting is an issue. When ran on 120 volts, the core draws 1.6 amps, and when ran on 240 volts, it draws around 0.8 amps. The core emits 640 BTUs of heat. The core utilizes an average of a 4000K full white light spectrum with near UVA and IR light. The red to blue ratio is about 1 to 1. The spectrum is ideal for seedling to harvest growth. The only thing you need to change is the hanging distance from veg to flower. Spectrum changes can shock plants from the veg to flower transition, so Nextlight only uses a single spectrum to eliminate this transition shock. Expect a 4 foot by 4 foot coverage area for veg and 3 foot by 3 foot coverage area for flower. This light is perfect for a lot of seedlings and clones, vegging several plants in a 4 by 4 area, or flowering as many plants as you can fit into a 3 by 3 area. The core is a smaller version of the Nextlight Mega, which is designed to flower a 4 foot by 4 foot to 5 foot by 5 foot space. It is recommended that this fixture is used 8 inches to 18 inches above the plants during flower for the best results. You can use it at 24 inches to 36 inches for veg. Nextlight recommends you start high and adjust the height as the plants acclimate. Keep in mind that the further you bring the fixture up, the less intense the light will be, but you will gain coverage area. Nextlight has provided PAR maps of the core. Check them out here. The measurements were taken in a 2 foot by 2.5 foot Gorilla Grow tent. The PAR is quite high at 8 inches and 12 inches within the 24 inch by 30 inch area. I also took some PAR measurements of the core in a 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent at different distances. Let's check out those PAR readings now. The first reading is going to be at 36 inches above the bottom of the tent. 36 inches, we're seeing around 200 ppfd in the center of the light. And moving off to the side, drops down to 160. 
and moving it into the corner. About the same, about 160 or just below 160. So this height is ideal for veg. Um, this is the maximum height that you want to have it at for veg. Unless you have seedlings, you can raise it a little bit higher. And then the second reading here is at 24 inches. So notice the increase in par, around 335. And then going to the end of the 4x4 footprint, it's around 200. Let's get our corner reading. Corner reading says it's about 160. So 24 to 36 inches is an ideal height for veg. And then back to the middle. All right, our next reading is gonna be at 18 inches. So at 18 inches, we're just below 500 PPFD, right in the center. Moving to the side. Now I'm, this is a flower footprint, so I'm gonna try to keep it in a three by three area. In the corner of the approximate three by three area, we're at about 180 in the corner and on the edge around 280. I'm just trying to angle it in a little bit. It looks like around 300 actually. Then bringing it back to the center. And that's at 18 inches. Our next reading is going to be at 12 inches. So at 12 inches, let's see, we are at about 785, right in the center. And then moving to the edge, just going to try to angle in the sensor a little bit to capture that incoming light. So right around 500. I know that's kind of hard to see. Just below 500 actually. And then into the corner of that uh, three by three footprint. About 265. And then this other edge here, right around 400. So if you're flowering, I would keep the light around this height. I think this offers the best intensity and coverage area. However, if you wanted to, you can move it between 12 inches, which again is the height that we're measuring it at, or a little bit closer down to even eight inches, which is gonna offer the highest intensity, but the smallest footprint. So let's see those readings now. And our last one is at eight inches. 8 inches, we are at 1,000 PPFD. Moving the sensor around the light, it even climbs a little bit above that uh, reading. And then going to the edge of the 3x3 footprint, it's right around 400. And then this other side here. Just trying to angle it in a little bit. Just about the same, right around 400. So this is the closest that you want it, any closer and you might be burning your plants. The next light core's price is $595, but it's available for $535.50 at LED Grow Lights Depot. An additional discount may be available on the product page for the core and other next light products. Link in the description or go to the product page at ledgrowlightsdepot.com. In summary, the next light core is an excellent quality product backed by an awesome warranty. I highly recommend it for flowering up to a three foot by three foot area or vegging up to a four foot by four foot area. If you think the next light core LED grow light is the bee's knees, view the link in the description. And please give this video a thumbs up and post a comment below if you enjoyed this review. Have you used next light products in your home or commercial grow? Also feel free to let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see more LED grow light reviews and other LED content, subscribe with a button on the left. Till next time.